Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a Git repo where I save uh, lots of possible interview questions for Kubernetes. Um, some of the questions I've been asked in when I was interviewing for senior um, SRE roles, uh, a few of the questions I've asked myself as a manager um, when I was interviewing for candidates for the same roles. Um, so I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can get to it. Um, I'll, I'm, I'm going to walk you through a few questions just you get just so you get a taste of it uh, for example the the very com most common question people will ask you is hey what have you done with kubernetes this when the first time when people asked me that question i got um a little surprised because i wasn't prepared for such a question i was prepared for some technical in-depth question that people might ask me so for, for this to be ready for this kind of question because it it needs some preparation for you to to coherently give a story about what things you've done in Kubernetes. Uh, so, and I give you some of the some of the sample answers you can give. Of course, the, the real answer depends on one year you know, in your in your experience. The second example I have is um, is a, it what looks like a complex question. How do you get a, a resource from one context to another? But it actually has a simple answer. But things like that will, will trip you up with any real interview um, situations. Uh, the third one is actually, I was asked myself, um, it's um, kind of a hard one because uh, it's not very intuitive. For example, the ingress controller is, is um, something that you can make without any changes to your cluster. It's just, you, just, you can just make one, it doesn't do anything. But to implement, um, to implement the ingress, you have to, actually have an ingress controller behind it and there's like so many of kinds that you can you can use you can use a normal load balancer from gcp you, uh, another most com very common one is index ingress controller that's because they have it has a lot more features and whatnot so it's a very common thing to have because without that you don't have in what's equivalent of an api gateway going into the services that you have in your cluster so you have to, in production you have to have some way of implementing that and if you can answer that answer this question uh, it will be very obvious that you haven't really worked with kubernetes in in um in production the other uh, one i wanted to go over is a common question for almost any technology you have to understand uh, including Kubernetes, what problem it solves. You know, any technology that comes up, it solves a problem that wasn't solved before. So you have to know why Kubernetes even exists. What could we not do before Kubernetes existed? So I give you the answers here, but you can you can do your own research. I have uh, almost 300 questions on, on this repo. It's a really good way of for you to practice answering interview questions related to Kubernetes. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That really helps me a lot. And we will see you next time.